enemy territory. Beautiful win from the Philly. But uh, first off, just to mention Amos uh, McClellany. He received his 1,000 Rand from Hollywood Bets. Uh, so thank you to them and Cape Racing. Barry Donnelly is representing the Brickcroft Yard. Well done, Barry. Thanks for that. Obviously, uh, on that win, she's come on quite a bit from her first, uh, her first effort. Yeah, I thought um, just watching her first run, she had a very good education first time out. Um, and um, with natural improvement, she had to come along. And I know Louis was very confident going into the race, and Julie, Julie showed it. And uh, clearly, the type of filly that you said she's quite progressive, so we'll come on from this too? Yes, I think she'll come on further from you. I think, you know, it's, uh, it's some... It's, I think this filly's going to go on to be a decent filly. You know, we had the mayor, Sheva Shea. She was pretty good as well. So I just want to say well done to, to Craig. He's here for, for Ridgemont and obviously to Ridgemont and uh, to Wayne Kieswetter. Well done to Brett and the team. It's my first day back from leave, so I can't say too much about the rest. But, um, yeah, well done to everybody concerned. Well done, Barry. Thank you very much. Well, that's uh, Barry Donnelly representing the yard next up. Louis coming back from the, the weighing he's weighing in. Craig, if you don't mind chatting to me so long, no, it's just Louis taking an amble. Well done for the work. Thank you. Very nice. Um, first and second for Ridgemont Stallions and Ridgemont Bred Horses. So it's, uh, it's a nice start to the day. And uh, also just looking at your international campaigns, it's been a good, a good few days for you? Yeah, it has. It was quite a cool weekend. Obviously, a, a, Bonan, bred, a Bonan bred winner in America. Um, Cold as Ice's first baby is a winner now in, in Ireland for us. Um, stallions are going well. Horses are going well. Cheltenham Festival is coming up. So the teams on, on both sides of the, of the, on the world are really excited. Well, thankfully, locally, you're also doing the trick, so well done. Thank you. Thanks. There you go. That's uh, Craig Kizvita. Louis standing in the wings. He's going to come and uh, chat to us. He was the jockey aboard uh, enemy territory. Well done. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you. As Barry mentioned, she's a, quite a progressive type of filly. Does she give you a good type of feel? Yeah, uh, she definitely is a progressive type of filly. Um, she does give a very nice feel. I mean, you could see the way I rode her today. Uh, I knew she couldn't get beat today. Um, first time, quite green and soft, um, needed their own, needed experience. Today she came on tons, um, so I knew she was going to win today. Um, it, was, uh, yeah, it, was, uh, it was a straightforward race for me today, even though it was a bit short, but uh, she got the speed for she was great to sprint. Um, I think, yeah, there's, uh, there's, you know, there's, what can I say, there's, we're looking forward for a whole career ahead. And Louis, just a, a last comment on the course, how is it? Yeah, the course is heavy, obviously, and we had a lot of rain. But uh, it's consistent. In the first race, I went on the inside. It was heavy, but uh, consistent. And this time, I was in the middle. Heavy, but consistent. So, yeah, I would say it's fair. We'll race through the whole day. We'll finish the race. Well, it must have been lovely to win on such a, a nice, classy type of filly. Well done for the win. Thank you. Yeah, I just went on to Richmond Highlands. And uh, obviously, the Keys with the family. Went on to the whole yard. And uh, thank you to my sponsor, Alyssa Vistra. Well done. Thank you. That's Louis McCutgua, the jockey aboard number nine, enemy territory. That's a daughter of Canford Cliffs. Well done uh, to uh, all the connections concerned. Really good win from this filly. And as they mentioned, she's a classy type. So pencil her in your book. I think we're going to see more from her.